What's good everyone and welcome to another episode of Levels to This. My name is Sean RKL and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the main 3v3 offenses that you'll see in competitive 2k. And the first one that we're going to be talking about is pick and roll or pick and pop with the lockdown. Now the more traditional one is going to be the pick and roll and pick and pop with the center which is what we'll talk about later on in this video but for now we're going to focus on when the lockdown is setting screens in the offense. And like I said although it's not the traditional offense that you'll see it's still highly effective for teams that can master it. Now typically in the game the guard will be defending the lockdown and vice versa and if the offense wants to take advantage of the guards lower defensive ratings they'll run this offense to get the guard involved in the defense the defense can either have their lockdown fight through the screen but even that there is a risk in itself because if the lockdown on offense sets a good enough screen the guard will get open and they'll hit their shot with ease but if you decide to switch it and you have the guard on defense defending the guard on offense it's a complete mismatch because the guard on defense isn't going to have good enough defensive ratings to be able to keep up with the guard on offense and it goes without saying that you can't make the guard defend the center because that's an even bigger mismatch and going even deeper into this offense what a lot of teams will do is run the pick and roll or pick and pop with the lockdown into an overload but again we'll get deeper into that as the video goes on and the next offense we have is the pick and roll or pick and pop with the big man now this is the more traditional offense that we've seen in competitive 3v3 over the years and it's obviously for good reason the center is a big body with the best ratings and badges to set effective screens and if this offense is executed correctly it can create a lot of shots opportunities for not only the guard but the lock and center as well and what we used to see in older 2ks was centers running with inside center builds and what an inside center build is it's basically a center build that can't shoot because they focus more on their finishing and their defense but in recent 2ks it's been almost pointless to make a center build that can't shoot with the builder we have you're able to get good enough stats in every category to be able to play at the competitive level so that's why in recent years you haven't really seen anyone use an inside center build and apart from that it really just makes the defense's job easier because if they really wanted to they they can just double team the guard every time have the guard defend the lockdown in the corner and they can willingly give up twos on defense and then come back down and just get threes up on offense and the next offense we have and probably the most common is the iso offense this offense is so common because it's really just an easy and efficient way to score and it's pretty simple there are no screens involved and it's basically just the guard going at the lockdown the guard will do their best to look for a three but if they can't get one you'll see them get to the rim and finish there now obviously you still want the other two people on offense to be able to get involved so that's that's why sometimes you'll see bigs or lockdowns moving off ball, dexing, or creating passing angles to help the guard if needed. And the last offense we have in this episode is overload. And basically what that is, is an isolation with the guard on one side of the floor and the lock and center on the other side of the floor. Now it is similar to the isolation offense that we just talked about, but with straight ISO offense, the guard is usually in the center of the court trying to score while the lock and big are in each corner. But with overload, the guard is given a lot more space to operate and it makes it harder for the defense to make their rotations because because they're further away from the ball and like i mentioned earlier what you'll see some teams do is run the pick and roll or pick and pop with the lockdown to get the guard switched on to the guard on offense and obviously if you have a guard defending a guard that's exactly what you want if you're on offense and if you give them an entire side of the floor it's going to create even more of an advantage now some teams don't do this just because they can't run it correctly but the teams that have mastered it are very efficient at it and it's definitely one of the best ways to run your offense now that is going to wrap up this episode of levels i hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys were able to learn something that you maybe didn't know coming into this video. And if you guys want to stay up to date with any future episodes or just all of our content in general, make sure you guys drop a like and make sure you guys subscribe. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I will catch you in the next episode of Levels to This.